What up, though, man, from Boy Tone Toe to I want to talk about one of the most racist things that ever happened to me. Uh, and there's a lot of racist things that happened to me in the city where I live. But this is one of them. I was working for a photo company some 25 plus years ago. Uh, and the manager was white. One of the co-workers was black. He was an idiot and a thief. Uh, but the manager, female, she was cool. And there was another manager, white dude. He was cool. So, you know, and there was another white employee. He wasn't cool. But uh, so it was it was an OK place to live. I was happy they gave me a job. I learned a lot about, you know, photos and, you know, taking pictures and cyan, magenta and all that other stuff, you know, colors. And it was it was pretty chill for the most part. You know, some employees, you know, whatever. But then the business was being taken over. Uh, and a new manager was coming in. So the little. Uh, we had a short guy, white guy. He was cool. Uh, he left. He got married. You know, he left. And we had a white lady, you know, real quirky, uh, but chill. And uh, she was like, I'm leaving. I'm going somewhere else. So we met the new manager, right? When I met the new manager, you know, everything was cool. He came in. He looked around. He was like, yeah, you know, this is, you know, this is chill. You know, blah, blah, blah. He looked at all of us, shook our hands, you know, blah, whatever. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to take all of us out to dinner. Uh, you know, after, you know, the place shut down, we was like, bet. It was only right down the hallway. Uh, and we were like, I like, okay, cool. So everybody left, right? And they're walking ahead. And he said, Anthony, come here. So I had to like, chill back a little bit and he was like yeah we found some uh some problems with the register and i was like you know like what he was like yeah he said uh the register was short two hundred dollars i'm like two hundred dollars he's like yeah the register's short two hundred dollars and uh i think you did it so you're fired and that was it now of course you know, I could have, you know, called somebody, and I think I eventually did, the chamber come or somebody. I think I called somebody, but nothing came of it. Um, And being that the other two managers were gone, there was really, you know, pretty much almost everybody there was going to another job. And it was, they were left with a skeleton crew, but he fired me. I turn around... uh some time later ran into uh, some people who worked there and knew the manager and, you know, and I said, uh, Hey, I used to work at this place. Yada, yada, yada. What's going on? They say, yeah, that guy doesn't work here anymore. It's like, what happened? They said, yeah, what he did was he took a bunch of money and um, he left, he left out of the state, you know, didn't turn around. I was like, why? They said, well, his wife had cancer, so he, want, he wanted to leave his wife because she was pretty much terminal. And he, so he was trying to figure out ways to get money. So he stole a bunch of money and left, um, you know, out of the state, you know, and uh, that was his whole plan. So it, it started with me, though, <laughs> and the $200 that he said that I took. I didn't even know there was $200 in the register at that time because I wasn't a manager, so I, did, I didn't count it. But if it would have been short, everything was electronic. Even back then, I would have known it was short because the manager that worked there at the time would have been like, yo, Anthony, you're like, the register is short, and there's only a few people who worked on the register. So... It would have been very obvious, not to mention, we didn't generate a lot of cash back then. You know, we didn't, you would think we did, but no, we didn't generate a lot of cash back then. Uh, people had accounts, there were credit cards back then. So there, you know, a lot of our accounts just went on credit. And that's just how people did business in the photo business, because you have uh, a lot of corporate 
people so they don't come in and just hand you a bunch of cash. You know, they have corporate accounts. So, but there are cash exchanges for when you want to buy like film and one of them throwaway cameras and stuff. So you're just cash for that. But $200, it would have been so obvious. So I just wanted to say that happened. The And uh, the company did go out of business. I don't know what they are now. I don't want to mention them because I don't want beef with anybody. Uh, you know, I'm not looking for to sue anyone or anything like that. But, you know, I just like talking about experiences because some of you that are in the working field right now, you're going through stuff like this. And if you are, you know, start making phone calls. But I just want you to know that this has been happening for a while, you know. So, it's your boy Tom. I'm out.